Hello, super learners. My name is Miss Jennifer, and I'm so excited that you're here to learn with me today. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a stuffed animal for today's lesson. Ask a trusted adult to help you find these items. While you're getting your supplies, I'm gonna grab mine as well. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now, and I see you are too. We have our supplies, so let's go. Today, we are gonna read a story about a puppy who loves to paint. We will learn the parts of a book and learn about the letter P. All right, super learners, let's get started. First, we will learn about the letter P because our story is about a puppy. The word puppy begins with the letter P. The letter P looks like this. To write the letter P, we make a straight line down, then we jump back to the top and make a curved line to the right and back to the straight line. Now, let's all get our magic finger. Use your magic finger to write in the air to write a letter P with me. Start at the top, make a straight line down, jump back to the top, then make a curved line to the right and back to the straight line. Great job! The letter P makes this sound. Say it to your stuffed friend. Now turn and say it back to me. Great job saying the p sound. Now let's work together to think about words that begin with the p sound. We can use a graphic organizer called a circle map to help us think about the letter P and the things that begin with its sound. P. You can make your own circle map on a piece of paper and a pencil. First, you draw a small circle in the middle of your paper. Write what you are thinking about. Today we're thinking about the letter P. So we're gonna make a letter P. Then we draw a large circle around the small circle. Now you have a circle map. Super learners, I need your help to think of things that begin with the sound P. I'll give you a clue and you try to guess what I'm thinking of. Are you ready? Great. I'm thinking of a food that I love to eat that has the P sound. It has cheese and pepperoni on it. Tell your stuffed friend what I'm thinking about. That's right. Did you say pizza? That's right, I am thinking about pizza. Can you show me how to eat a piece of pizza? Great. Now we're gonna write the word pizza on our circle map. Hmm, pizza. What is the first sound in the word pizza? Tell your stuffed friend. Did you say p? That's right. We spelled the sound p with the letter p. Then we need i, z, z, a. That spells pizza. Now I'm thinking of a pet that loves to wag its tail and bark at cars. Tell your friend which pe pe pet I'm thinking of. Did you say puppy? That's right, good thinking. Now, tell your stuffed friend, what sound does puppy begin with? Hmm, puppy. What is the first sound in the word puppy? Did you say p? That's right. P. Tell your friend which letter we need to spell that sound. Did you say p? That's right. P is the first letter in the word puppy. Then we need U, P, P, Y. The word puppy has three P's in it. We can count them. One, two, three. Now, I'm thinking of something that I would use to paint a picture. It has soft bristles and a handle. Tell your friend what I'm thinking of. Did you tell your friend a paintbrush? That's right. Good thinking. Have you ever used a paintbrush to paint a picture? Really? Let's grab our imaginary paintbrush and paint a picture in the air. I'm painting a house. 
Now I'm painting a tree. Can't forget the sun. Now let's write the word paintbrush on the circle mat. Hmm, paintbrush. What is the first sound in the word paintbrush? Tell your stuffed friend what sound you hear first in the word paintbrush. That's right. How do we spell that sound? Yes, we spell the sound p with the letter P. Then we need A I N T B R U S H. That spells paintbrush. For my last clue, I'm thinking of a food I like to eat that is sour, green, and crunchy. Tell your stuffed friend what food I am thinking of. That's right, a pickle. Have you ever eaten a pickle? My favorite kind is dill pickles. Some people also like sweet or spicy pickle. Which kind do you like? Tell your stuffed friend which kind of pickle is your favorite. If you do not like to eat pickles, you can tell your friend that too. Let's eat a pickle together. Mine is so crunchy. Last time, tell your friend what is the first sound in pickle. You got it. Now, let's write the word pickle on the circle map. Hmm, pickle. What is the first sound in the word pickle? That's right. How do we spell that sound? Yes, we spell the sound p with the letter P. Then we need I C K L E. That spells pickle. Wow, super learners. Our circle map looks great. Look at all those P words that we know. Thanks for helping. Now, let's get ready to read our book. Here is our book. It is titled Puppy Paints. Let's talk about the title. The title is the name of the book. Tell your stuffed friend what a title is and say that with me. The title is the name of the book. Good, the title of our book is Puppy Paints. A book has several parts. This part is called the front cover. It has the title, tells the author and illustrator, and has a picture to show us what the story is about. This is the back cover. Let's practice and see if you can tell me which is the front cover and which is the back cover. Which part am I showing you? Tell your stuffed friend, is this the front cover or the back cover? That's right, this is the front cover. How do we know? It has the title, the author and illustrator, and a picture. Tell your friend, am I showing you the front or the back cover? That's right, this is the back cover. How do we know? It does not have the title, author, and illustrator on it. Now, let's turn the page and read our story. As we read, listen closely for any p sounds. When you hear them, touch your ear and tell your stuffed friend. So, when I say puppy, touch your ear and tell your friend p Puppy sees a flower. Puppy paints a flower. Puppy sees a doll. Puppy paints a doll. Puppy sees a cat. Puppy paints a cat. Puppy likes his paintings. How many sounds did you hear? All right, super learners, 
That is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you so much for being with me as we learned about the letter P and about the parts of the book, like the title and the front and the back covers. I hope you enjoyed the fun story about a puppy that loves to paint and keep looking for the letter P. When you find new P words, add them to your circle map. I'll see you next time. Thank you.